Our venerable mother Euphrosine was born at the beginning of the 5th century in the city of Alexandria. She was the only child of illustrious and wealthy parents. When she was 12 years old, her mother reposed, and so the girl was raised by her father, Paphnutios, who was a very devout Christian. He was in the habit of visiting a certain monastery, where the Igoman was his spiritual father. When Euphrosine turned 18, her father wanted her to marry. He went to the monastery to obtain the Igoman's blessing for his daughter's wedding. The Igoman talked with her and gave her his blessing, but Saint Euphrosine longed for the monastic life. One day, she gave away her possessions to the poor, and then she snuck out of the house. The saint had decided to enter a monastery in order to spend her life in solitude and prayer, but she was afraid that her father was apt to find find her in a women's monastery. Therefore, she disguised herself as a man and entered the same men's monastery which she had visited with her father from her childhood, calling herself Smargdos. The monks did not recognize Euphrosine dressed in men's clothes, and so they received her into the monastery. The monks were impressed by her spiritual struggles and by her willingness to serve everyone. There in a solitary cell, Saint Euphrosine spent 38 years in spiritual endeavors, fasting and prayer, thereby attaining a high level of spiritual accomplishment. Paphnutios was deeply saddened by the loss of his beloved daughter, more than once, on the advice of his spiritual father. He spoke to the monk, Smargdos, disclosing his grief and receiving spiritual comfort. Before her death, Saint Euphrosine revealed her secret to her grieving parent and insisted that no one but he should prepare her body for burial. After he buried his daughter, Paphnutios distributed all his wealth to the poor and to the monastery, and then he was tonsured. For ten years, until the time of his own repose, he labored in his daughter's cell. By her life, Saint Euphrosine reminds us that we must renounce worldly passions and live soberly, uprightly, and devoutly, Titus chapter 2 verse 12. That is, after rejecting the desires of this vain and sinful world. We ought to live abstemiously, with justice toward our fellow human beings, and with piety toward God. Saint Paphnutios and his daughter Saint Euphrosine are both commemorated today. And once again on February 15th. Amen.